properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Closure property. As we know that 12 plus minus 15 is equal to minus 3 and minus 3 is an integer. Thus, the sum of any two integers is an integer. We can say that integers are closed under addition. Hence, if a and b are any two integers, then a plus b is also an integer. Also, 17 minus 19 is equal to minus 2 and minus 2 is an integer. Thus, difference of two integers is an integer. We say that integers are closed under subtraction. Thus, if a and b are any two integers, then a minus b is also an integer. Next property is commutative property. As we know that minus 7 plus minus 12 is equal to minus 19 and minus 12 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 19. Therefore, minus 7 plus minus 12 is equal to minus 12 plus minus 7. Thus, addition is commutative for integers. Hence, if a and b are any two integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. Again, minus 5 minus minus 19 is equal to minus 5 plus 19 is equal to 14 and minus 19 minus minus 5 is equal to minus 19 plus 5 is equal to minus 14. Therefore, minus 5 minus minus 19 is not equal to minus 19 minus minus 5. Thus, subtraction is not commutative for integers. Hence, if a and b are any two integers, then a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Next property is associative property. We know that minus 3 plus minus 9 plus 17 is equal to minus 12 plus 17 is equal to 5. Also, minus 3 plus minus 9 plus 17 is equal to minus 3 plus 8 is equal to 5. Therefore, minus 3 plus minus 9 plus 17 is equal to minus 3 plus minus 9 plus 17. Thus, addition is associative for integers. Hence, if a, b and c are any three integers, then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Again, minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 17 is equal to minus 3 plus 9 minus 17 is equal to 6 minus 17 is equal to minus 11 and minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 17 is equal to minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 17 is equal to minus 3 plus 26 is equal to 23. Therefore, minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 17 is not equal to minus 3 minus minus 9 minus 17. Thus, subtraction is not associative for integers. Hence, if a, b and c are any three integers, then a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. Let us now talk about an identity called additive identity. As we know that 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Similarly, minus 8 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus minus 8 is equal to 
minus 8. From the above we observe, when 0 is added to an integer or an integer is added to 0, the sum is the integer itself. Thus, 0 is the additive identity. Hence, if a is any integer, then a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a. Next is additive inverse. As we already know that 5 plus minus 5 is equal to 0 and minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. Similarly, minus 12 plus 12 is equal to 12 plus minus 12 is equal to 0. From this we observe, for every integer, there exists its additive inverse or negative such that their sum is 0. Hence, if a is any integer, then a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a is equal to 0. Let us now learn simplification by means of an example. Let us simplify 146 minus minus 200 minus minus 90. So 146 minus minus 200 minus minus 90 is equal to 146 plus 200 plus 90. This gives us 346 plus 90 is equal to 436.